Welcome everyone, this is Shadow Drake, and we are returning to Europa to continue our trade stuff where I actually made money last time. Absolutely surprises me to be honest because I haven't been making money, it's all been getting spent. But now I'm kind of at the point where I need to do some stuff, like I need to make an insulated tank. Are you seriously not just going to poop any egg? Like, can you eat mushrooms? Hmm. And so, I've been kind of, like, trying to do a little bit on the, uh... Ugh. I've been trying to figure out a little bit of stuff. I haven't gotten fully done yet. Uh, like, I am trying to see if I can... Let's just put more steel in here. I need more pipes anyways. Like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just now stu- I went the wrong way. Like, I just started making the spreadsheet to kind of gain an understanding of exactly what different things cost. In terms of what I can sell and stuff, you know. Obviously, I got the whole... I got the whole, uh, whatchamacallit, ores thing going on. Why did that get so worse? I got ores that cost a certain amount. Uh, and realistically and truthfully, like while I could survive off of just making ores, I do want to see about selling ingots to like build ink, but also selling other devices and stuff to different places. And that's kind of the that's kind of the tough part for this whole thing. Like, I, I, I gotta make things profitable enough that it's all worth it. You know, like... Like... Uh, let's see. I mean, look, there's Astral Emporium again. And, you know, it's like, well, I've been predominantly selling stuff to Astral Emporium. You know, there's still the fact that I have other people, like Orbit Ops Hardware. I think could sell me some stuff that I could probably use. Like, uh, uh like, if I recall right, one of the traders... I don't forget this. One of the traders actually sells me a, like a box of small batteries. And if you think about it, a box of small batteries is actually something that I could really use. Because if like, uh, like building, you know, like he wants a food package, a tomato soup, a corn soup, bread loaf, muffins, and a water bottle. You know, that's not small battery-esque. But let's see. Uh, you. What do you want? Astral Emporium. Look, I mean, I'm selling you all of this iron still. All this coal. Up to, oh, I'm up to a huge chunk of money at this point. I'm just gonna tell you to go. For once, I, I don't know that I actually really need to buy stuff. I'm going to hold you for a little while because I might need to buy stuff from you. But I got to go on a mining trip. I, I really, really... I do need to get some... I, I 
I do gotta get nitrice. So let's go this way. Nitrize and volatiles. Always need those. Oh, hey, it's my windmills. So let's go this way. You know what? I might as well get some water, too. Oh, hey, look, it's uranium. I actually need to start thinking about setting up my NOS fuel and getting my NOS gens going. That's something that, that definitely needs to be done. And that comes along with the fact that, you know, once I get NOS fuel going, I can use that to actually start using for, you know, warming up a furnace, warming up uh, stuff. There's going to have to be a point where I need to start truly, truly, uh, you know, the only, the other thing I got to do is I have to start actually making my liquid volatiles. I haven't even begun doing that, and I know I need to do that. Because I need to do that. I need to get all of that squared away. Properly managed. All of that stuff. I just gotta go. Look, I just gotta go. Cool. Need to properly manage uh, making liquid volatiles. And it's not gonna be that hard. I just need to fill probably just a medium radiator with enough volatiles that it'll just condense and then just, you know, go into a liquid tank. Like a normal liquid tank. But it needs to be maintained. I need to actually control it with a chip so that I get the exact number that I need to be feeding it. Okay, well, let's just get the nitrice. So not only am I supposed to, do I need to be making fuel, but I need to be getting enough nitrous oxide To... Don't... I don't know how I can get that. I need to get nitrous oxide. I need to actually start attaching my water tank and doing the phase change devices of that. Because I'm going to need a nitrous oxide to uh, cool down that CO2 tank and also to keep it in uh, check. Being extremely careful how I dig up. Look, I am traumatized, alright? I, I literally, technically died completely due to my haphazard digging. I'm not going to make that same mistake uh, too many times. I'm going to make it again, but I'm just going to try not to do it often enough. And the reason I want to do the water is because I think I actually do need to set up the uh, the thing for the water pusher. I, I never really did truly set that up for the uh, for the water tank, but I was afraid to because I wasn't entirely sure whether just water will go in or if it'll be like a dirty mixture of nitrous and water, you know. But I think I'm fairly confident that it'll be just water. Well, that's something I need to do. So I need to do that. So I actually got to do quite a bit of programming this time. That is a little scary to go through. Oh, 
Oh, a storm is coming. Alright, so I might as well just do this. So I have the liquid analyzer. Pipe analyzer. Okay, so liquid analyzer. So Let's see what I was doing. So settings is hundred why am I moving a hundred in there? So originally I'm moving a hundred in there. It's been so long I'm actually having a hard time reading this. So let's load R2 liquid analyzer. And you know what? The thing is, I don't exactly know how to liquid analyzer. Liquid analyzer. Kind of works. I just get volume of liquid. Volume of liquid. <sighs> I misspelled it, didn't I? Volume of liquid, so. All right, so load R2 volume of liquid. I think what I need to do is kind of duplicate the whole thing. So R1 is my counter, is my gas counter. So let's do R3. Finesse. Reset liquid counts. Reset liquid counts. So move R three zero J Ra. Bitchy tall. So let's do turn liquid off. Set liquid pump on zero. Move R3 100. G. Raw. where it's going to get really, really tricky because of the way that I had it, so... So it was your zero.
liquid counter J. I think I just need to put this as J Ross. I think this is probably in the wrong sus. So if I reset the gas can, I might as well just set GP on one. And the same thing for the liquid count, set LP on one. Because, so loading that. So I'm going to check the reset gas count. Uh, say that's zero. It's, it's not going to do anything. Let's say they're both zero. Not going to do anything. Therefore, the counter is going to be counting up, and it's going to eventually hit to turn off. Move the counter to 100. So then... And this is kind of where it gets weird. If BEQ R1 is 100, go to skip. That way it skips this. BEQ R3 100, then go to end. That's kind of what the tough part where it is. I don't know exactly how well this is going to go. But the thing is, when it hits turn off, I want to hit 100 and then I want to skip it. Because I don't want to keep adding to the count. That's, that's the thing I don't want to do. R3 100. Okay. So let's give this a shot. So let's just put ice water in there. Network analyzer, that's not going to help me. There. Good, that worked. That worked how I expected it to. Okay, so let's see. Let's get you to... Let's just go ahead and feed a little bit at a time. So now there's going to be a lot of nitrous. And I just don't really want to stress this out too much right now because I don't want to play full with the pipe stress. I also need to cool both of these down. I mean, look, it's 48.9, that's perfect. But I need to put a uh, insulated tank to purge some out so that it can then be mixed over here. So I still need to mix it. Still haven't done that. That still got the stress up to like 60%, that's insane. I 
just put the whole thing in. Come on, you. See, I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should actually put like a few large utility pipes in here. Oh wow. I caught that stress just in the nick of time. See, the thing is, I need to get this to at least half the pressure I would need it. Because, I mean, when I'm going to make the NOS fuel. I'm only going to pressurize it to about 500 kilopascals. So I'm going to put as much as I can to put to 500 kilopascals. I got half the pressure in here, which means I'm good to go for making that fuel. What eventually needs to come come about is I need to put liquid. Let's just actually finally weld this floor because it's going to keep annoying me that I keep falling through it. There we go. No more falling through floors. Are you not going to poop any more eggs? Okay. actually losing uh, thermal energy. No, not thermal energy. Look at that. This, this has basically become the temperature of this. I, I think I do need a pump and regulate exactly how much goes in here because this is getting cold. Uh, that's probably what I should do. Just going ahead and make back pressure regulators for this. So let's just go ahead and make some back pressure regulators volume pumps. Because I think I am actually murdering the uh what, what what's happening, you know, with that. Gonna be able to work much out of the storm anyway, so let's get you to in there. Back pressure regulators. I got plenty of cables. It's pretty. Actually, I need to two logic transmitters. Are you just not gonna make a fertilized egg? Are you dying? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, logic transmitters. I need two of you. I don't know how many comes in a kit, but I'm gonna need two of you. So what I am going to do with these logic transmitters is, I don't know that I'm going to move that out of the way, the weather station. Oxygen low. 
Yes, I know. My oxygen went low briefly. But I do want to... I do want to wire it up. That's right, I gotta configure you. Uh... That's right, I need to tell something to write to this thing. In that case, would it be just be better if I just moved you over there? That's going to be better. The hard part is I don't want to put that over here because that's going to be the weird flooring. I'm just going to have to make a housing and a chip. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, let's get in here. Whew. All right, so I need to program this thing. logic transmitter out from there. You will be... Oh, I'm out of power? Uh Weather... Station... Tra transmitter... Nicely. Why are y'all not on? It's turning y'all off. Y'all are supposed to stay on. Those are, I don't think I have anything setting them off. Oh, weird. That was weird. What 
just turning them off. I've never seen that before. I just realized something here. It's because of that. Oh, no. Okay. I did a goof. Uh, generator battery. Generator battery. Generator battery. I have a problem here, and the problem is that I need a define gen bats hash generator battery because when I did this, I forgot I connected everything together. I needed an LPN. Generator battery. No, gen bat. Because I am reading the average ratio of all of that stuff, and it was high. And so, when... When they got above that. There we go. That's better. So it was really aggressive, it's just that I didn't have it right. I didn't have my logic right. And <laughs> so, whoops. So, let's get you back down to 500. Because it is aggressively high. Really aggressively high. See how the, the GFG is dropping the temp? It's probably been dropping the temp of all of this whole thing this whole time.
I bet the same thing is happening over here too. Because I think I need to have exactly enough. How this is already at like 26 Celsius. That's like, that's just not right. Ah, and then this is actually being a holdup right here, too. Hmm. Because I'm being held up over here. Probably shouldn't even really need this final one right here. I can probably just get rid of it. So I need a hand drill to get rid of it. Oh, whoa. Improvements, guys, improvements. I think that's really been the whole problem this whole time, that I just messed up the way I had these. shouldn't have put it right there. I should have put it right next to it. All of this is completely dried up before I run back to running those. Oh, I cannot believe I did that. All right, let's look at something. So let's, I need first transformer, second transformer, third transformer, and now I need what do you call it? The weather station transmitter probably should have just gone backwards. Because I'm going to need that.
There's got to be a certain pressure range that this works at, you know? down. <laughs> I just love that. Um, not gonna lie, I love that. because that's just kind of, I'm just kind of wasting time on that. Uh, let's get to where I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing this. Alright. This is going to be my backup generator con transformer controls. So I need to define my Large bats. Battery. Now I need to define floor one, f floor one, hash first. Fine. Floor two, hash second. Define floor floor three, hash third. Now let's do my main and yield J main. So let's, and then I need an alias. Alias, floor one, X, zero, alias, floor two, X, D1, alias, floor three, X, D2, alias, uh, weather mode, D3, because that's all I need from that. Now I need to define a uh, floor one max define floor two max define floor three max forty eighty. I think that's gonna be too much. All right. Now here's the thing. So, LBN R0 Large bats, floor one, uh, rates, ratio, average. I gotta do the same thing. R1, large bats, floor two, ratio, average, LBN, R2, large bats, 
floor three ratio average. And just for the heck of it. Uh, set the DB setting R0. Not bad. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. If BLT are zero, it's less than 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Let's go to floor one. And let's go JN because we don't know. So No, that's, that's not the best way to do it. Okay. That's not the best way to do it because that's just not going to do it. Okay. So let's do, let's do some select functions. So SLT R3. if A is less than B, so R0 is less than 0 0.5. This, this is floor one manager. And we will do set uh, color one X on one. So if it is less, if if that whole ratio is less than 0 0.5, then we need to do some some math. So then we do subtract R4 or minus R0. We subtract the rates. I'm trying to think, because the lower the lower the multiply R, and we want to put this at R four R zero times two. Subtract. I'll put this at R four. 1R4. Then we multiply R4 by R4 FLR1 FL max. And then set FLR1X setting uh, by R4. That should be the goal. don't know exactly how well this will work, so what I'm going to do is subtract this. And for the time being, I'll set this to star 0. Slowly going up. It's going up and down. So it's looking like five kilowatts are being used, but this is actually taking up more of the power. That's good.
and let's see branch if r3 eqz wait if a is less than b that's not right that shouldn't be on That should not be on. Because I'm I'm loading the ratio. Uh oh, because I'm an idiot and put R3 like that. Oh gosh. Hunger critical. There we go. Uh. Let's go eat. Temperature critical. Uh, that hurts. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I got one chicken. Okay, for real though, I gotta see if the chicken can eat a mushroom. Then I don't. I wouldn't. I think it could eat a mushroom. Hunger, caution. Will you eat a mushroom? <coughs> I guess not. It's kind of funny to me that I just threw a mushroom at a chicken and hope that it'll eat it. Alright, let's go back to that. If the chicken dies, that's fine. I got another fertilized egg. Fertilized egg go. Really curious about that. There was a fertilized egg that I put over there, right? And now it's just missing. So, let's go back to this. So, uh, multiply R0 by 2, uh, but R4. Whatever my ratio is, multiply it by 2 and put it in R4. Then do 1 minus R4. Store it to R4. That should give me the ratio. R4 times the floor rate is 4. Setting. So, now let's see. So now let's see, B, E, Q, Z, if R3 is less than zero, go to, f go to floor two. Just for simplicity's sake, floor one. Floor two. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be literally the same exact thing. R3, R, 
R0 0 0.5. Set FLR to X. Or three. I don't know why that's so screwed up. <laughs> that is so weird. I don't know that that's actually going to work right. There we go. Uh, well, it's actually going to be R1 this time. What am I doing? Multiply uh, R4, R1 times 2. Subtract R4, 1, R4, multiply R4, R4, floor, 2, max. OS, F, L, R, 2, X, setting, R, 4. And I repeat, SLT, R3, R2, 0 0.5, S, F, L, R, 3, X, on, R3. B, E, Q, C, R3, end. Multiply R4, R2, 2, sub R4, 1, R4. Multiply R4, R4, F, L, R3, max, S, F, L, R3, X, setting R4. Done. The only thing I need to do is load from the uh, R8 setting. The only thing I was going to do with that is actually have it stop during a storm. The NEZ R8 go to off everything. That's a J and off. Zero S F L R three on zero. And the only reason I want to do that is because when a storm is about to happen, I want to basically stop using my backup battery to charge my stuff. Because I want I want my uh wind storm generators to burn themselves out as completely as possible so that the storms can charge as much as possible. In the worst case, you know, in the worst case, my generators can generate some energy and keep it going, and that should kind of keep should be good now. power this generates when I so I'm at 1.18 that's not bad Look, that 
actually generated enough that these shut off. Filtration is actually going to use that. But yeah, this is what it should be. Like, the generator room should be off when there's no reason for it to be on. So maybe you gotta do something like that too. I'm still not absolutely sure exactly how these things are supposed to work perfectly. Like, like am I, like am I gonna be better off putting volume pumps? You know, like put a volume pump right here, in here. Well, I can't do that right there. And just emptying things out. obviously I have like a terrible working efficiency and all of that jazz Woo. obviously I'm charged up enough that I okay but with that my backup generator room is solid now where's that egg there was an egg over here did it die? Your chicken is at 82%. Okay. Oh, what have I been done? What have I done? There's no way it's... Okay. Still iron and silicon. Okay. All right. So one thing I do need to do is go ahead and start getting the fuel mixing completely set up. So let's go ahead and start wiring cables because I'm going to need to wire cables. So you're going to go right here because stuff but whatever so one of the things I gotta do is I will need a pressure regulator which I don't have pressure regulator to a perch valve and then I need to pipe up my volatiles you know the interesting thing is that I have all of this I can just go underneath. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? Okay. Did I already name you? Alright, so if I were to remove you, and instead fit you right so let's see right here yeah okay 
Making things work. Making things work. That's plenty. That should be plenty. I can get rid of most of this, to be honest. Because, I mean, this was only need needed to do the things, but there's just literally not going to be anything, almost anything condensing, because this is already a negative 78, and I still haven't made the stupid pollutants. Uh, Alright, so let's... How much liquids are here, thinking about it? No liquid? Oh, wow. 900 kilopascals, 6 megapascals. So oh, yeah, okay. Okay. I don't think I'll need anything else in there. Like, I'll... I'll just rip this back. Because, honestly, truthfully... Alright, so now I need to go volatiles all the way over here. So the thing with that is that I need to go underground. And I have so many flipping. Oh, okay. Let's... Let's, uh, dig a bit. There we go. Okay, good. I was about to say, did I just put that in the way again? Alright, wrench, 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 wrench. Where'd my wrench go? I think I know where it is. It's not here. Where did my wrench go? Right here. Okay, so... My volatiles needs to go through here. And I need to hopefully be able to still come out. kill myself if I put that like right in top of me like that. There we go. How the flip am I going to get out? Oh, right here. side, weld that, well, come on, weld that, there we go, perfect, okay, now I need to do basically the NOS, but I need to get the NOS, the insulated tank, there's nothing here, good, I think I should probably go mine a few more volatiles, Oh, actually, I have a little bit of stuff here that I didn't.
got no traders on the landing pad because I just haven't really been doing that. Getting the NOS fuel is going to be the... <gasps> I'm out of chickens. I really need to get another egg. Come on. I'm actually surprised that the chicken laid absolutely zero fertilized eggs. Alright. Uh, let's do some little cleanup on my inventory because it is absolutely messy. Why is this so high? It's pretty high. But that's gonna come back to bite me in the butt. Alright. So I got my insulated tank. I need a purge valve. Pressure. Okay. Pressure regulator. So now I need an IC-10. Might as well get a couple more of these. Oh, gonna run out of gold. Actually need to smelt gold up. What is up with that? Okay, so lean to that. I think I just need a medium radiator, to be honest. So this rocket manufacturing, I am going to go, you know, I need to build and actually get proper, properly set up, like all my other printers. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it... Where the heck can I put it, to be honest? That's the thing. Uh, my stuff is kind of very constrained. I think once I get rid of this, I can probably put it right there. Five, but okay. Man, they grow up so fast. Did it eat the shrooms or did it not? Did it just poop an egg? Alright. Let's go out there. So I really need to pipe up the NOS fuel. And get that going. And I apparently also need to uh, make some more gold. Oxygen low. 
Whoa. All right. So, in order to... Oh, come on. In order to properly... Oh, this is going to be a weird... gonna have to be like this and so you're gonna be my NOS holding tank This is kind of where things get a little bit interesting because uh, I completely forgot my insulated liquid pipes. Whoops. Whoops. There's no way I can kind of make that better. Okay. And this is going to be my NOS Okay. Now I need to run this pipe underneath. Okay. And there's the problem. I gotta go a little bit more. Gotta be absolutely careful that I don't cross anything that I shouldn't. Alright, can I still get up? I hope I can. Alright, so now I need to weld my floors back. So the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing with volatiles like I did with the oxygen. I'm going to make a huge tank right here. This is kind of in my way because I kind of didn't plan this very well. But I will have some underground volatiles come up here, and I guess the best thing that I can do Honestly, this is a complete cluster F. This whole area right here is a complete cluster F because this is meant to be an easier loading zone, and it's not. Looks like I actually have to move this back. And at this point, I'm wondering if the the best thing for me to do is just to use a pressure valve to just pressurize this to like 5 megs and then just use a liquid radiator to just radiate liquids out.
because I don't think I can fit anything else. Because I wanted this to be right here. Completely out of my way of that. I was thinking just... Well, if I have this like this... And the thing is, I just need to... I just need to bring this out. Put like a... Oh, this is still so bad. Maybe just... Pressure valve... Ah! This is just so terrible. So terribly placed. Everything here is just terribly placed. I'll just deal with that later. Alright. And I need to... This is my NOS fuel mixer. Let's go get an insulated liquid pipe, hook that up so that I can start pressurizing that. Because I need to make my NOS fuel. Go ahead and get my NOS centrifuges online so that I can actually make more ores faster. And the things that actually have to come about from that is that I need to actually... Ooh. That's going to be good to have. I think it's only need one. Oh, look at that. Perfect. There's only one right there. Oh. Really? So you're the one that makes fertilized eggs. And the other ones just refuse to? I see how it is. I see how it is. Just, just, you make fertilized eggs, willy-nilly. The other chicken apparently thought that it was too good for me to do that. And knew what its brethren were gonna suffer through. So never bothered to. The ironic thing is I still haven't built that airlock so that I can go out easier. Should probably do that next. What happened to my other chicken egg? I'm really wondering about that because it just literally disappeared. Fair. Wait, did I mess something up? Uh, 
Okay. I don't know why they didn't like it. Alright, so... Once again... I have a chip... for this. So, NOS fuel. <laughs> I usually have to find a mass pressure 600 because I just don't. And then for some reason I have this swapped. I don't know why. It's just swapped. Alright, so... So first is volatile tank. Okay. Next is NOS holding tank. NOS holding tank. Then comes the mixer. NOS fuel mixer. And then comes the fuel tank, NOS fuel. Yep. And then finally comes the NOS perch. Wait. Oh, I'm a dummy. I put you in the wrong one. Shoot. All right, all right. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, that's a... Let's move you over here. No, can't do that. Ah! Alright, just gonna make this look stupid. I really didn't want to make it look stupid, but looks like I got to. I forgot that all my tanks are right here. Okay. So, NOS Purge Valve. So, now should be here. Oh boy. There we go. Let's go ahead and get you in there. should do it. But it's not doing the mixing script. Okay, why not? Okay. <sighs> Purge on. Because it goes so good. Purge off. Take mix. <sighs> this is where it could hit issues because I'm just not
That's a lot of nitrogen. It's getting kind of like scary close to too much. While I am at it, I guess I am going to go on ahead and... Do you even have chips in y'all? No, you don't. Okay. Looks like I need to make some gold. Please tell me I kept some gold. That's it. Pretty sure I had more gold in here than that. That's it, apparently. Wow, that's not a lot of gold. Okay, cool. Didn't realize I did not have a lot of gold. Okay. Alright, so now I need to get... That's a weird sound. There's just not a lot of pressure here. <laughs> just not a lot. And the sad thing is, this is going to absolutely burn through all of that like ridiculously fast. Because you know there's like uh, what, 14 moles there, 136 moles there. And the Nosfield is going to be in particularly is really tough too. How many of these do I have? Four? It's actually, yeah, they're actually blue burning through that. I'll actually end up needing to make like three, three, like another four centrifuges, to be honest. Okay. So I'm going to need more insulated pipes. Might as well go ahead and print more. As well as chips. I didn't realize I didn't put chips in those centrifuges. I could have sworn I printed more than that, but I guess I didn't. Like the, 
Oh wow, that's that's kind of cool. Actually, could call them down. I that they were exactly two. I can't believe that the medium dish could actually do this. Wow, that is interesting. Ecosphere Essentials. No, oh, well, probably doesn't really matter, to be honest. So that hasn't turned on yet. Can I see the setting on you yet? Oh, it's going to turn on soon. That is cool. I want to see when that happens. Because if it turns on, then I'll, I'll at least know exactly how it, how it behaves. Like, how well is it actually going to prevent the power drain from... And I do need to actually... I got some logic IO, right? I got some logic IO. Where is that? Oh, it's still here because it didn't work. Just need a reader and a writer. Cuz I could just put that on the on the oxygen low on the thing up there. Just read the mode, write the mode to the thing. All right, let's see where I am on this. Okay. Oh. Oh, crap. I should do that. Now look what happened. I messed this up. It's a lot. It was perfect, and then I screwed it the flip up. Well, I can't really do much about this other than just, uh... place. Honestly, that'll be the fastest way to clean up that mess that I made. There we go. I just rename you Nosfuel. Nosfuel. Okay, uh, let's just make sure that you're good. Lost fuel.
So that's just going to be very slowly filling that up. Meanwhile, I will go on ahead and pipe pipe you up to my combustion centrifuges. Okay. Now, you need to go underground. It's gonna be from underneath, like so. All right, perfect. Yeah. time is basically up, so I think I'll just pipe this up and call it. That's it. That's perfect. Time to weld everything back up. Alright, so if I remember right, for my NOS centrifuge, I actually have that working correctly. So let's clear you. Uh, NOS centrifuge, and I just gotta go back and check it back. Alright, so... If I remember right, I got this completely working. But the thing at the end is the expel again.
Who have to fall on top? Did it again. to load air. I don't think I use R13 anywhere. BQZ, error, error, go to end, if not. I don't think I need this, or this. I think this is how it needs to be. Okay. Completely forgot to wire him up to power. Oh boy, let's hope I have enough power. I can't believe I forgot something so basic as wiring him up to power. My backpack is a mess. There should be something else in there. Yep, there it is. All right. I think really what I need to do right now is just to keep adding more and more uh, volatiles and nitrous because that's going to be ultimately what dictates how well this is going to run. I really don't know exactly how much that's going to use up. I'm curious to see how well this works though. Why is it not going?
Oh. Because of that. Wow. So now I gotta do. Okay. Move SP20. Push. Hash. Mouse 1. Push 0. Push. One, push zero. Now there's three machines, so now I gotta do three down here and see how well that works. And that's not increasing anymore, okay. Can't believe how much I have to debug my my own programs. This is like just not correct at all. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Start and... Because it's cycling. Uh, it's trying to get to an RPM of 250. Before it moves to the next one. Really honestly and truthfully, it's probably struggling because of the fact that there's not really a lot of pressure in the NOS fuel. So it's probably not really taking in a lot of NOS fuel. I think the only way that I'm going to fix the NOS fuel is if I actually get more in here. Because I don't think this is actually getting enough. 
And it's very possible that Europa is cooling this down enough that it's not really... At this point, I don't think it's going to get up there. I can increase that to 100. And and that's not really doing anything. gone to the next stage. And it is really probably that, you know, I'm very, very slowly filling that up. And so, to move on to the next stage after that, it needs at least 400 RPM. actually getting there very slowly but it's getting there Next one needs 600 RPM. It's already about to be at the point where it's going to exceed what the others can, two can do. Yep. Exceeding the volatile one now. It's also stressing a lot. Alright, before I I'll log off for the night, because uh, I'm getting kind of tired, I think this is about it. I need to go and check and see what. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are y'all just not gonna lay fertilized eggs anymore? Look at that.
It's actually good to know that this is actually taking over. Alright, so that works as I expected it to. I really do need to program them. Ah! I need to uh, fix the the valve for that. Look at that. Almost 900 RPM. I'm gonna need to eventually add two more or miners because this is just gonna this just one is gonna chug through that. That's gonna speed up even more. Three, four, yeah, look at that. Processing a dirty ore practically every two seconds instead of every one. All right. So I gotta shoot that up. I gotta get more NOS, gotta get no more volatiles. And then I really, really actually need to just finish up a lot of stuff. Like, like I do want to start making liquid volatiles. <sighs> so we got a lot done this time. Got my auxiliary. That chicken's dying. So we got my auxiliary, uh, my generator power station going, which is awesome. And if I look at the network analyzers, you know, I need six kilowatts, and this is already way past, actually. That's doing a lot more than six kilowatts. Like, I might actually need to tune that down. Because it's a, it's actually doing a little bit too much. And logic... I.O. I just need one. Because I do need to get the logic I.O. up there and just do that for that weather station. But next time, uh, we're just going to do a little bit more mining and we're going to do a little bit more programming. But making our way to being able to make liquid fuels for a rocket that will eventually need to be piped up and everything. So, plenty more to come. And, uh, looks like I'm way too hot. So let's just go on ahead and have this work. Okay, definitely a lot, lot more to do. With the uh, NOS fuel going, there's going to be significantly less. Uh, you know, absolutely significantly less going on as far as uh, what I need for. mining, because it's going to chug through that. I'm actually going to probably need probably another set of deep miners, to be honest. Hunger critical. Am I really that critical on hunger? So yeah, next time, we're going to continue doing more stuff. Making ourselves self-sufficient, and hopefully being able to very easily just produce and sell because I mean I'm up to 5,000 space bucks still not fully a lot but I'm gonna get there there is more hope now all right see you later and goodbye <laughs>